Hi guys, welcome again to Code It. This is Suresh Anand from the studio. This is the second part of the HTML basics. So if you haven't watched the first part, then please do watch it because it is the second part. So if you have any confusion, then the link of the first video would be in the description. So please do watch the first part. Now let me have a quick recap about what we did in the HTML basics part 1. So in the part 1, we had understood the meaning of HTML and we also had created a simple project based on HTML. So now let me continue the tags and I will show you some more important and more advanced tags that you can use to make your page look good. So before that I would like to tell you that in the notepad it is a little complicated to write the whole code. So let's talk about a new editor which we can use for our HTML projects. So the name of that editor is CodePen. CodePen is an online editor which means that you can store your files on online and everything that you save would be stored in a database which you can retype, retrieve anytime you want to. So let's start with the CodePen. First I will open the CodePen browser. So for opening it you just have to type so I am gonna also open it so code pen yeah so at first uh, when you open the code pen website you would uh, not see this page you would see a blank page which will ask for setting up your account so please enter your account details and set up the account it's very easy it's free of cost so you can do it and now when you do it you would get a confirmation email, confirm the email and you can now use the CodePen facilities. So first let me explain about how the CodePen works. Like HTML, CSS and JS. JS means JavaScript. So first we are dealing with HTML. I will come later to CSS and JavaScript, don't worry about that. But first let us deal with HTML. So as a basic structure says we have to first define the HTML tag and then the header board and then the title then the body and then we could write any text. But in the code pen it's a different thing. You don't have to write the HTML body and the head tag. You can just start it from where you want. Like if I say a simple text message then I can say welcome to code it you see it's written here at the bottom most screen if you scroll it up you can maximize it and then you will see this welcome to code it now if i use some tags here like h1 and then close it then it would show the results and it would update automatically. So now as you can see the welcome to code it is written here. And you have the choice to close the tag or open the tag. If you don't close then also it's okay. If you close then it's good. So and one more advantage is that if you write h1 tag but just then you remember that you wanted to write h2. So you just have to change the opening tag like in the h1 i will just write h2 and this closing tag will also change so if i change this to center see the result is now in the center so this is pretty cool right so now let's discuss about a new tag that is a very useful tag whose name is br tag. So br tag does not require a closing tag also. It's just a empty tag that I can say. And uh, use of br tag is to make a new line for you to work with. Uh, the full form of the br tag is break tag. 
in the sort it is written at ber so i would also use it so there is uh, not much of a change in our text so let's write some text after the br tag hello welcome to code it and then the word So as you can see this, it is writing in a new line. So if we remove this br tag, then it will write at the same line. Yeah, as you can see. So I would uh, replace the br tag now. Yeah. Now if you want more space between the two words that are welcome to code it and hello hello world, then you could use the br tag once again. And yeah, you will see the result here. There is much space now between them, and they look pretty good. So now let me introduce you to a new tag, whose name is font. So what basically comes in your mind when I say the word font? You would think that font means some text, the properties of text, right? So that is what the font means in HTML also. Font is used to make the editing to the text. So, font is a very useful tag which we can use for any text to edit it and add more aggression or I can say hypertension to it. So, now let's create our font tag. So, I would let the center tag be there and then I would write font. So, now if you don't use it, even then it's fine. But it is a good habit to close all the tags when you open it. So let me close the tag first. Yeah. Now you don't see any editing or some change to the text. Right? But the thing is that we have to write something with the font. Which I called, called the properties or I can say the attributes of the font in HTML language. So font has numerous attributes. For which I will choose the color part. So to write it, you just have to make a one line space after font and then write color. And then you can write any value of the color. Color that is, you can write it as red. If I write red, then see the output. It's becoming red. Yeah, perfect. Now if you choose any other color, like lime lime is a sort of light green yeah and you can see this lime color so this was a very good way and if you want to um, teach this uh, uh, some junior kids about the colors then html is ready for you you can use as many colors as you want so let me give you an example if i right at here is this is the line color this is line then it would be more easy for uh, any child to understand that okay so this is the line color and if I change it to red then the child can easily figure figure out that this is red and so this was very basic so let me just reset it yeah so now you learned about the color and now I would introduce you to another attribute of the font that is the font size. So for the size you can just say size size equals so the basic size of the text as you can see here is 15 so I would use a 30. So now as you can see the size is there for 30 so as I can see that 30 is a very good size and you could use less than that like 25 now you can see the text looks perfect so that was all about size you can adjust the size of the text now I would like to convey you to a new attribute of the font tag that is the face attribute so what do you mean by face so every one of you know what is the meaning of face 
so the meaning of face is the structure of the head so in html it is also uh, it is same like that the face is the structure of the text so the structure of the face mean structure of the text means the how the text is written the style of writing the text so for one basic example face if you write face is equals to verdana then you would see that the text style has changed the font face has changed as you can see this is the verdana style of writing the text and then the some mode are the georgia If you want some more examples of the font face then please check the description the description i have written in detail about the font faces so please do check it and yeah so this is all about the font tag so now you would be a little bored about dealing with the text so now let's make something interesting let's clear all this and let's make a table so yeah we heard it right it's table so now you are going to make a table in the html so to start with we have to first write the table tag so we have to write table and then we have to close it now you don't see see anything right so because we haven't made anything so first we have to make some headings about the title of the contents so now i am going to make a table about listing the favorite fruit of people so let me give you how to make a header so first you have to write a table row so table row does, does nothing but creates a new row so you write by just putting the tr tag and then closing it tr stands for table row now we are ready to make the first element of the table so based on what is this going to be like it is going to be the heading part or it is going to be the simple component of first there should be a heading so where i should write the name of all the fruits so first heading is h1 no we don't have to write h1 we can just write th th means table heading and then close the tag and then we are going to write our first item that is mango so now you can see that here the mango has been there now let's make some more fruits So now I have made some fruits, guava, grapes, and this is banana. Yeah. So now you can't, you cannot see this uh, uh, border of the table. So for making the border, you have to write another thing that is border. In the table tag, so border is an attribute of the table. So first you write border after a space after table. Then you can see a border is there. So now you can adjust the border size by writing equals to, and then you can display the width of it. So if I write two, then it's a little bold, and then if I write five, it's much thicker. Uh, you are gonna see this okay yeah so five is there it's gonna be thick yeah so I'm gonna use five okay so let's keep the video short and keep it till here we will discuss about the items and the next choices and uh, more rows in the next video so if you guys like the video then please subscribe our channel and share it to those who think it's gonna be benefited for them and yeah so that was all for today thanks guys